Hey guys, thanks for cooking with Tammy. Today I'll be making delicious saucy braised beef short ribs with a brown butter veggie orzo pasta. If you want to see how I put this delicious meal together, then stay tuned. Starting off with about 3 pounds of beef short ribs and adding a good amount of kosher salt and ground black pepper to taste. Using my hands to combine everything together. Because we need to sear these short ribs really good, I'll be using my preheated heavy duty pan. As you can see, I've already added oil. However, be sure to use oil with a high smoke point. In other words, oil that's not going to burn quickly. You don't want to start the searing process and before you're even halfway done, the smoke alarm goes off. A few examples of oils with high smoke points. Safflower oil, soybean oil, peanut oil. However, if you have peanut allergies, I stay away from the peanut oil. As well as corn oil, vegetable oil, and canola oil. So far, everything is searing quite nicely. I'm going to flip it over one more time before placing it into the crock pot. Using the same pan, adding onions, I'm going to deglaze the pan, picking up all of the wonderful flavors at the bottom. When the onions become semi-translucent, I'm going to add the minced garlic and continue the deglazing process. Adding red bell peppers and also combining. Adding all-purpose flour, combining and creating a roux. Adding a small amount of beef broth and water to loosen up the roux. Taking the roux mixture and adding it to the beef short ribs. Adding beef broth. dry sherry and Worcestershire sauce. Barbecue sauce. One small sliced tomato. Fresh parsley. One bay leaf. And a chicken bouillon cube. Fresh thyme, as well as fresh rosemary. I'm going to give everything a quick stir and place it into my preheated 350 degree oven and allow it to slow cook for about two and a half to three hours or until the meat is falling off of the bone. This is what the braised beef short ribs look like after about an hour and a half. I'm going to add a tablespoon of all purpose flour as well as two tablespoons of water and a tablespoon of barbecue sauce to thicken it up just a bit. After about two hours and 45 minutes, I've removed the pot from the oven and placed it onto my stove top, reducing the sauce or the gravy to my desired liking. Moving on to making our brown butter veggie orzo pasta. Adding about a tablespoon of butter to the skillet. Allowing the butter to melt and become slightly brown before adding the sliced onions. Giving everything a quick stir, I'm also going to add a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic. Once all of the ingredients are infused, I'm going to add the orzo pasta and combine all of the ingredients once again. Before adding the chicken broth. On medium-high heat, I'm going to allow everything to come to a slow simmer. Adding a pinch of salt to taste. Now that the liquid has reduced almost all of the way, and I've given the pasta a quick taste and the consistency is to my desired liking, while on low heat, I'm going to add a pinch of fresh cilantro, diced tomatoes, fresh parsley, and spinach. Giving everything a quick stir, once the spinach becomes wilted, I'm going to turn the stovetop off and add freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Now that everything is complete, let's put this wonderful dish together. Saucy braised beef short ribs, 
served with a delicious veggie orzo pasta. As always, thanks to Cooking with Tammy. Definitely subscribe to stay updated. And most of all, enjoy.